Happy Wisdom Wednesday, everyone, and the book of the week is... Happy Wisdom Wednesday, everyone. So, welcome back. This week's book of the week is The Innovator's Book, a book for... Mavericks, Rebels, and Innovators by Dr. Max McCown. Now, uh, Max reached out last year. We connected through LinkedIn. He liked my content and was very kind to send me his book. He even uh, signed the back of it and left me a nice note. And I usually don't always review every single book that's sent to me, but if it's a good book, I like it. I do my best to, to get around to doing it, and I finally did. And one of the things I love about this book is that it's kind of the combination of two great books on marketing design that I love. So one of them, that was a good magic trick, right? Um, except the book was upside down, is uh, it's not how good you are, it's how good you want to be. And as you know, I reviewed this book uh, a few months ago. And the beautiful thing about this book is that it provides a lot of interesting uh, ideas, but of course, using pictures. And if you like that format, the other book that I always recommend is, of course, Lynch, but really anything by Seth Godin. And Seth does a really fantastic job of using pictures to communicate idea. So, Max, I think, kind of took it to the next level and did a combination of those two things. I don't know if he realizes that, but of course, the guy who's reading books all the time is always going to notice these subtle nuances, but he does a fantastic job doing that. Um, the book itself, I, I want to talk a little bit about the book's design. So it's got this beautiful matte finish that I really like. The pages are made out of a thick uh, cart, uh, paper stock paper, which I really enjoy. And it even has this nice uh, elastic band on the side so you can uh, secure the book when you travel. And there's even a little uh, attached bookmark. So. A lot of thought went into this book and it's really fantastic. Now, of course, the contents of the book are, are great because what I love, as you can tell, is that it's a book about innovation and about ideas. Uh, Max has a MBA, uh, a master's in psychology, and a PhD when it comes to strategic change. And so in all his years of research in terms of strategy, change, more importantly, how people innovate and implement ideas, he's put it all in this book and he uses pictures in a beautiful way to communicate these ideas in very nice bite size, uh, not even chapters, but you can really put this at the edge of your desk and every day just flip to one new page and there you have a nice picture that describes uh, uh, an idea and an, and an outline in a very nice blog format. So I thought he did a fantastic job doing this. Now, Max covers three important questions in this book and expands on them. The first being, how do you make new ideas useful? What kind of things do you need to do to nurture those ideas, implement them, inject them with a little bit of creativity to really give them the legs so they can travel far? The second thing is, how do you build a bigger brain? Because part of innovation is getting your brain exposed to new ideas, to new insights, new stimuli, right? How do you do that so you bring in the new, new knowledge and more importantly, right knowledge? And the third question is, how do you win with new ideas? Because no matter what, there's a train going by and I just gotta stop. I gotta wait for the train to go by. Oh, I can just close the window. And the last question is, how do you make new ideas useful? Because at the end of the day, it's about using power, influence, and strategy to make these new ideas useful. Do you partner up with other ideas? Maybe give them off to certain people, right? There's a whole approach and strategy behind generating these ideas, making them useful, and then finding ways to get your brain exposed to new things so you continue doing that. Now, one of the chapters uh, that I love out of this book is this one right here. And it says that everything better is made of something that was once worse. Remixed, remade, and reborn. Well, what's a great example of that? How about the Lego company? That's right, the Lego company. If you did not know this, I think you'll enjoy this little fact. The Lego company copied one brick from an almost unknown toy company and spent the next five years 
reimagining, remaking, redesigning that one little brick into what's known today as a multi-billion dollar company that's had a positive impact in the, in the world and really stimulated the creativity and the, I guess, inner builder in all of us. And if you think about it as an innovator, that's one thing that you have to be good at, being able to add, subtract, divide, multiply, and re-engineer all kinds of old ideas into something that may, may be new. Because just because it has been not been done well before doesn't mean you can't take something from one place to another and combine it to make something remarkable. Definitely recommend this book. One of the things that's important about books is the energy they give you, right? Whether it's a book that costs you know five or eight dollars or a hundred dollars, buy a book because of the energy that it's going to give you. Perhaps it's gonna give you that one little spark that day to get you going. And if you think about it, a lot of times we're looking to social media to do that, to give us that little spark, that little catalyst to be motivated, to be inspired, etc. Get rid of that and focus on books. And this is the perfect one to sit at your desk or even tuck nicely into your bag as you travel and you open it up to one page for an idea, a little bit of inspiration, and the rest will take care of itself. So that's the book a week. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely go out and get it connected with Max. He puts out fantastic content on LinkedIn and other platforms. So, as always, happy Wisdom Wednesday, and I'll see you next week.